we have been having a beautiful morning driving through the mountains to Barcelona but a little text message came through on the car because that's what it does a little message that says read and uh, it said error your car is not performing at its optimal quality and you can't it won't tell you what's actually wrong you have to connect it to a computer and then it will tell you it must be a male car because it's playing hard to fucking get um, so we found a mechanic here we're in ha yeah. Haka? Yeah. Haka? J A K A. They pronounce their J J's as J -A -C -H. H. Yep. So we're here and hopefully it's nothing um, drastic so we can get on the road. We've still got about four hours to drive to Barcelona. Ooh. So hopefully these little Rodi motor services will help us out. That's the, that's the other thing. What is the other shitty situation that we're in? Like any basic maintenance and repairs, I can't really do because we've got no tools. Unless we invest in tools and then... You're a tool. Ah, uh, tool. That was a cheap joke, I'm sorry. This is... Because my weak pincers aren't strong enough <laughs> to do bolts. weak pincers. It's the prettiest bloody mechanic stop I've ever been to. Sorry, LA Motors on Finden Road. You're great too. I don't know what the bigger problem is. The car? Or this outfit? It's always time for jokes. Sorry. So like the triple head torques and the um, complacency um, barrier lift shifts need just upping to 375 volts. It needs coolant. Fucking coolant. Because I, I did look through the class for that and it brings it. So we have to get the air filter clean, the fuel filter. So putting this junk in there, 95 euro, Jesus. Mostly for the computer. Mostly for the computer read, but the accelerator pedal needs to be replaced. <laughs> no bueno. So we've got to find a Volvo dealership because you have to get it done by the manufacturer. So lucky there's one in Barcelona. Hopefully we'll make it to Barcelona. And then, oh, what fun we'll have paying for that. Because I'm sure a new accelerator pedal will be pedal. super cheap. Car update. Um, so I'm being heaps glib because that's how I uh, process and cope with stress in the moment. Um, but the, the mechanics in Hacker Yaka. Yaka. Um, we're like so beautiful, so friendly and so helpful. Um, didn't charge any labor, was just the fee was for the use of the computer um, and then the product that we put in the car for the fuel filter. But I called ahead to Volvo in Barcelona where the accelerator pedal needs to get replaced. So we're gonna take it, thank God there's a Volvo dealership in Barcelona and that we're in a place that would do that. Um, so we're going to go to the dealership tomorrow. The guy seemed really dubious. He's like, so you can still drive the car. This is through broken Spanish, <laughs> broken English. Um, and so essentially he was like, you can still drive the car, it still goes. I was like, yeah. And he, so he's not convinced that there actually needs to be replaced. Um, but if it does and they need to get the part in, if it's in Madrid, it'll take two days. If they need to get it in from Switzerland, it'll take over a week. I'm hoping it's neither of those things. I'm hoping it's just okay. But since we've had the car, the accelerator is cack. So when you accelerate, it will only go to a point and then it's just really sluggish. And so we just ignored it. We thought that it was just not a very powerful car. Just stopped to go to the loo and then noticed all of this leaking coolant. 
it's still um, it's still full. Oh, overfilled. overfilled. Right. Okay. <gasps> Drama. Um, we took our car to the Volvo dealership this morning um, to be told that even though we'd called ahead and made an appointment that we got there and then they said that there wasn't an appointment available. Um, the guy was really nice and uh, just said the you know error message has disappeared on the card and we're driving and it's semi working so just keep on trucking. One week later. For it to cool down. Yeah. At least we're heading downhill now. Yeah. We'll wait for it to cool down, see what the level's doing. And if not, put some water in. Put some water in there, yeah. It's still just bubbling. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Oh great. Never a dull minute. A giornometto di stato, which means status update in Italian, which I looked up. On Google Translate because no, parle italiano piccolo, <laughs> small bit of Italian, far out. So we've just arrived at Alba. Um, it was a beautiful drive this morning. It was such a lovely time not having any traffic going through all the mountains. Um, but we're going to be in Alba for three days, four nights. Um, so we're trying to get the air conditioning fixed. Um, and you saw us with that cracked coolant situation today on the bloody Franco-Italian border. Turns out it's the whole scenario is interlinked. So we're here at the bloody garage, um, trying to speak to this lovely fellow about what's going on. And it turns out it's the radiator. Cozy cozy, <laughs> maybe not. So someone else is coming down. So this is what real Italian life is like, you know? Everyone's thinking Amalfi Coast, everyone's thinking uh, Vino. No, we went into town um, and had some lunch because everything closes between 12 and 2, except for restaurants in the town. So we're in like real rural northern Italy. But this like, guy is molto bene. He's being really helpful, but we'll just see. But it's going to be costoso. Costoso? Expensive. Um, in Brighton news, the car is fixed. So Yay! Yay! The car's fixed. And that guy was lovely as well, wasn't he? Yeah, Matei. 